SwiftUI lets us present an alert with an optional source of truth inside, but it takes a little bit of thinking to get right, as you'll see. To demonstrate these optional alerts in action, we're gonna rewrite the way our resort facilities are shown. Because right now, we're showing them using this text thing here. Uh, and it's, it's okay, a plain text view generated with a, a form of a list and so forth. It works. But we're gonna replace that with icons that represent each facility. And when the user taps on one of them, we'll show an alert with a description of the facility. As usual, we'll start small and work our way up. First, we need a way to convert facility names like accommodation into an icon that can be displayed. Now, although this will only happen inside Resort View right now, this functionality is exactly the kind of thing that should be available elsewhere in our project. And so, we'll make a new struct to hold all this information for us. Press Command N. Make a new Swift file and call this thing facility.swift. Change the foundation import for Swift UI. And now give it this code. We have a struct call facility that is identifiable. It has a constant ID inside and then a name string. Now we're going to make a bunch of icons inside here that tell us which icon maps which each name we're working with. So we'll say uh, private let icons is an array of, we have accommodation, that will be the icon house. We have beginners, that'll be the combination one dot circle. We have cross country, that'll be the icon, uh, come on, map. We have eco-friendly, that'll be the job uh, icon of uh, leaf dot arrow dot circle path. And then we have family, which will be person.3. So those are the icons we can use. And now we're gonna add a computed property here that determines which icon to send back based on the correct thing we're passed in. So it'll say, okay, you're called cross country. What's the right icon for you? And it'll do us as an image being sent back, ready to go, all styled up nicely. So we'll say, that we have an icon property here, returning some view. And if we can read our icon from here, if let icon name is the icons of our name we're given right now. So we'll say, are we uh, beginners? Are we uh, family, whatever, like this? Then, brilliant, we'll do image system name of that icon name. Send it back now. I'm gonna add an accessibility label of our name. Otherwise, it'll say leaf arrow circle path rather than eco-friendly. And then a foreground style of secondary. But if we can't find the icon name, something's gone hideously wrong with our data, we'll use a fatal error saying unknown facility type of name. Should never happen. So JSON should be correct. So as you can see, this is conforming to identifiable. So we can loop over these things with SwiftUI. And internally it looks up a given facility name in a dictionary to return the correct icon for it. I've picked out various SF symbols here that I think look good. Um, I've also used this label again, so it reads out the correct text for voiceover. It's a good place. The next step is to make facility instances for every one of the facilities in a resort, which you can do in a property inside the resort struct itself. So over here, that's our facilities uh, string array. And another property here, which is facility types, is return an array of facility. And internally, we'll say, let's do our current facilities dot map facility dot init. So make a new facility from each name inside our facilities string array. And now we can drop that facilities view directly into resort view. So over here in result view, here's the current uh, text we have right now. I'm gonna say, let's just use uh, instead a H stack, whole bunch of facilities here. And for each, our resort dot facility types, give me one facility coming in. And then inside there, I'm gonna place our facilities icon in a font of title. So a nice and large icon, and then let's realign that padding like so. So looping over here, uh, each facility we have, 
uh, four hour uh, I type, sorry. Uh, our new property we just made uh, here. Give me one facility coming in for it. Get its icon out, make it nice and large, and then keep the padding we had before. So loop over each one and can make it into an icon each time. Um, the font does matter, otherwise it's a teeny little thing here, it wouldn't be useful. Making it larger helps it be much more visible on the screen. So, um, that was the easy part. <laughs> the harder part comes next. We wanna make facility images into buttons so we can show an alert when they're tapped. Now using the optional form of alert, this starts easily enough. We're just gonna add two new properties to our resort view, one to store the currently selected facility and one to store whether the alert should currently be shown or not. So we'll say in our state at the top here, at state private var, selected facility is a facility, optional, but nil by default. And then at state private var, showing facility, that's false by default. And now, in that for each loop a minute ago, down here, we're going to wrap this facility icon in a button where that is a label for the button. So we'll say there's a button here. The action will be our selected facility is that facility object we passed in and showing facility is true. And the label will be the icon and font. Like, oops, there's your space there. No mistake. Boom. So we can now create the alert in very, very similar manner as we created the icon by adding a dictionary to our facility struct containing all the keys and values we need. So back in our facility struct again, over here, we're gonna add some descriptions. We'll say private let descriptions is an array of, and this is gonna match the same types we had before. So I'll just swipe these five entries, paste them on in, and just clear the value string each time. We can put new text in there nice and easily. Boom. So uh, for accommodation, accommodation, see this? This is why I have the fatal error in there. It'll catch these kind of mistakes. Accommodation has an I in it. Uh, this resort, resort has popular on-site accommodation. And then beginners, this resort has lots of ski schools, ski schools. And then this resort has many cross-country ski routes. And then eco-friendly, uh, this resort has won an award for environmental friendliness. And then finally, family, this resort is popular with families. So string descriptions for each one of the five possible facilities we can have inside a ski resort. We'll then add the same computed property down below that returns a string based on what's in the, your uh, dictionary or has a fatal error saying what we've got wrong. So we'll say here via description is a string. Then if let message is descriptions of our name. Brilliant, send back message. Otherwise, fatal error, unknown, actually the same one there, isn't it? Unknown facility type, name. So far, this hasn't been tricky. But now comes the complex part. You see, the select facility property we made earlier is optional. So you've got to handle it carefully. We can't use it as the only title for our alert. So we must provide a non-optional string. We can fix that with nil coalescing. We also always want to make sure the alert reads from the optional select facility so it passes in the unwrapped value when we're there. And we don't need any buttons from the alert so we can let the system provide a default okay. Plus, we're gonna provide an alert message based on the unwrapped facility data, calling that message for method we wrote earlier. So quite a bit of steps here. Putting it all together, underneath the nav bar title display mode, I'll say as a new alert. So again, we want the facility's name here, set facility dot name, but that will be optional. So we'll do nil coalescing down to more information, in case it goes wrong. Then is presented, that's bound to dollar showing facility. We'll also make sure we use that second value 
presenting. So it unwraps that value for us if we need it. So we'll say presenting our set facility. And then we have our main buttons for this um, alert. Now in this case, it'll insist on passing us the unwrap facility. We don't want that, we want a default okay button. So I'll just do underscore in and then end the brace. But we'll add a message. And the message will have the facility coming in, so we care about it here. We'll show the facility's description text in there. So we're using underscore in here for a reason. We genuinely don't care for the action closure what the facility is. It's just gonna show an okay button. But it is important down here in the message closer closure. Well, the description value be in there as well. Let's press Command R. Hopefully, all that code's gonna work first time. Let's find out. So let's go to uh, Vale, I guess, Vale Ski Resort. Uh, I'll press on this one here. Boom, cross country, many of ski resorts, resorts, and then lots of ski schools, and then resorts, popular families. So it works really well. 